All right, now I've attached them all together. All right, um, you're gonna have to cut right here and rewrite it as fast as possible for that one. That's the only one you will miss. Now, a couple of things I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna uh, go in, select a couple of those vertices. And go in the soft selection mode right here of the tool, of the move tool, and bring that in a little bit. All right, I'll add some loops. I'll bring those up forward a little bit right there. All right, and those can be scaled down actually. And even moved a little bit right here. I can add some loops right here. And if it doesn't go across, that's okay. Um, faces. If I want a loop that goes all actually, um, I can just cut through that if I want to. Uh, and then rerun it up even more. Um, uh, section two is always a doozy in my uh, you know, like those right here. I don't want them. I don't want that one at all. Run it up until you get pretty much what you want. All right, that's pretty much it for the hands, you guys. All right, at the bottom right here, I usually let me bring it up. I usually select the whole thing at the bottom. Let me get out of the soft select. Very often I just delete the whole thing at the bottom. Until it's nice and clean. Right here. Then I can just reselect the edge loop right there. And um, simply fill the hole. And then after I fill the hole, select that mesh, and I'm going to pick it. So I can put it wherever I want after that on the clothing and stuff like that. All right. If you have no clothing, you need to have the same anchor anchors of points right here that you have at the end of your arms, obviously on your wrist, on your arms. All right. Uh, that's pretty much it. Um, now we can soften the edges. I'm still in transparency, obviously. That's pretty much it, you guys. And you re replay it a little bit more. Uh, you'll have more time than me than on the video to do that. Um, you might want even take right here. I like the sculpt tool sometimes. To push it, for example. But you're going to have to have a lot of mesh. I don't know how well that's going to... Alright, so you can recreate basically the muscle big time right here. And then you can smooth things out also if you need to. Uh, nah. So that's pretty much it, you guys, for your hands. Don't forget the diamonds, as usual, and to add, after that, 
Uh, you can run it up a little bit more than that, add a couple more loops if you need it. But that's really the most you can do in video game in the amount of loops you can put. All right. Uh, after that, it gets um, to not work very well. So replace your stuff. Oh, that one went wazoo. Sometimes you'll have to replace the wireframe on those properly if it goes across like that. Okay, uh, that's pretty much it, you guys. Remember, this is the most complex type of hand you can get uh, for a video game. All right, uh, you'll most likely not encounter that um, very often. The three fingers right here, those three fingers right there, uh, are all together as a mitten basically and you have only the trickier figures that that's that's how it works basically in video games so you'll get the mitten uh, with only um, the three fingers together the lower uh, one of the uh, you know trigger fingers and the thumb are the only thing you will see okay uh, have fun with the hand you guys it's actually really fun to do uh, remember the trick that i showed you for the side when you start that's very important take it easy